my name is Gregory Scott. Thank you for joining me. This video will give you some information about the astrology sign Cancer. Now, Cancer is associated with the crab, and I think this is one of the more mysterious associations in astrology. Cancer people are very loyal and they're very focused on family matters, and they're very focused on people around them. They're also very intuitive, they can often be very psychic. And I think the crab is a perfect kind of representation of this sign because the crab moves sideways. It doesn't move forward directly. A big challenge for a lot of Cancerians is to put themselves into the spotlight. They are much more comfortable looking sideways to the people, especially around each other. And also this placement with the sea has a great connotation with the emotional side of life. The um, kind of ocean of feelings that cancers often feel like they need to deal with um, and things can sometimes become a little overwhelming and then they scuttle off to the side. It's a very interesting kind of symbol. Now the planet that rules cancer is actually a luminary, it's the moon and the moon is very mysterious. Obviously it's at night, it creates a very mysterious and um, sensitive aura in itself and it's often associated with the mother and the ability to nurture and to care for other people. That's really what I feel um, cancers are very, very focused on and care about is the people in their lives and how they can exert themselves to make things okay for other people. The element for cancer is water. Water, again, is to do with the emotions, it's to do with the feelings, it's also to do with psychic ability and a lot of cancers will naturally be able to sense things about other people. So a lot of cancers will either have strong intu intuition, as a great sense of um, just knowing things through their own feelings, but also they're empathic at times and they can pick things up just by either reading people, reading their body language, or just intuitively knowing things. So the big focus is on other people and what they can do to help them. It is in a position of starting. It's a cardinal sign, which means that it is very focused on taking charge of the emotions. So it is nurturing and caring, but it can also be very strong and very powerful in terms of, for instance, as a family, this is what our beliefs are, this is what we value and this is how we're going to feel. And that's why cancers often make great parents because they kind of create an emotional space for the entire family to operate in and they take that emotional authority onto themselves. It is a female sign, it's gendered as feminine and it's about taking in information and then reproducing that in a nurturing and caring way. The part of the body or the parts of the body that are associated with cancer are the breasts and the stomach. Obviously the breasts are about nurturing, taking care of you know, children. The stomach is you know, the kitchen of the body. It's the center where nutrients are broken down and they are redistributed redistrib to create um, energy and power for the rest of the body. And that's a really actually a very nice um, summary of cancer because it's about being the strong emotional core and then redistributing that to other people. Greys, silvery blues, any colors of the moon, those are associated with cancer because it is ruled by that kind of mysterious intuitive feeling world and those colors really represent that very well and it is in early summer so late June and July if you're born during that time you will embody this cancer energy. Now they, cancers do need to learn to kind of assert themselves a little bit more they can be very domestic they can be very reticent um, but that's often because they're ruled by their own feelings and being in these big crowds or being in situations that are hugely social can be overwhelming at times so instead they focus on nurturing a couple of people in their lives those nearest and dearest to them and the other thing to watch out for with cancers is that the moods can sometimes fluctuate a little bit and they can be a little bit moody okay so they rather than say something directly and openly they can sometimes retreat into their own protective shell 
and bottle things up. It's very important for cancers also to assert themselves in terms of these are my feelings and I want to express them and I want to share that. A few more keywords associated with cancer are emotional, loving, protective, reticent, clannish, you know, my tribe, my people, defensive, can be clingy, but something I haven't really mentioned either with the intuitive side of things is also the imagination. Cancers can really live in a fantasy world and really can transport themselves into this emotional side of things and can really create wonderful creative stories, paintings, anything that creates or paints a picture almost. So that those are the traits associated with cancer. If you'd like a full reading of your birth chart, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you can order your reading there. Please remember to subscribe to the channel for the monthly astrology forecasts and the daily tarot readings and I'll speak to you soon.